Hi, in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function. So we have y equals sine of mx divided by x. So we have a fraction, so we're going to use the quotient rule. Recall the quotient rule says if you have a function f divided by a function g, and you want to take the derivative, the formula is the following. It's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. And it's all over the bottom function, so the denominator squared. So you square the denominator. So again, the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. Okay, so our top function is obviously sine mx, and our bottom function is x. Let's go ahead and apply this formula to this problem. So y prime equals, so the derivative of the top. So the derivative of sine is cosine, but here it's the sine of mx. So we're gonna have to use the chain rule. So the outside function is sine, and its derivative is cosine mx times, and then chain rule says we multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, m is a constant, so when you take the derivative of x, you just get one, so you get m times one, which is m. Okay, just like if it was two x, you would get two, same thing. So this is f prime, this is the derivative of the first. I'm just gonna put it in parentheses to indicate that this is the first thing, times the second, or the bottom rather, which is x minus the top, so sine mx times the derivative of the bottom, so the derivative of x is one. So again, it's the derivative of the top, which is cosine mx times the derivative of the inside, which is m, times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is just one, all being divided by the bottom one, which is x squared. Okay, let's keep going. So this is y prime equals. So let's see, I guess we can put the mx here in the front. That might make it look better. So this is mx cosine mx minus, and then sine mx times one is just sine mx. And that's all being divided by x squared. So x squared, and that would be the final answer, right? That's it. So just a simple application of the quotient rule, and just know that m is constant. You also do have to use the chain rule here in one step. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.